We're here at Indigo Oaks. We're located just a little out of Ridgeville and it's part of the Ace Basin region. It consists of a little over 200 acres of property that's made up of a wonderful diversity of swampland, bottom hardwood, timberland, and those huge oak trees just popped out. Everywhere I looked, I saw one. And in my heart, I knew I had to have this property. I'm Etzel Taylor. After completing OCS training and receiving the rank of second lieutenant, um, I was quickly deployed to Vietnam. I continued my military service, both active duty, wise, and reserve for 28 years and retired as a lieutenant colonel. Ended up serving for 51 total years in the prison system. Didn't realize it until I retired, but when I retired, uh, they did a little research and found that I was the longest serving warden in the country. To be able to come, you know, leave prison and 30 minutes later be out in nature just meant so much to me during the last part of my prison career. To use it for relaxation is very important, but I also use it, I would say, primarily for nature preservation. Um, I mean, even in my lifetime, when I could think back, you didn't even think about having wooded land and places to hunt and fish and nature. It was everywhere. And I gradually saw it disappearing, disappearing. In talking to Norman Brunswick, he did a great job of convincing me that it was probably the thing to do. He introduced me to another guy with Low Country Land Trust, and it was Lewis Hay. Between Lewis and Norman, they did a wonderful job of thoroughly teaching me all the benefits and the restrictions of an easement, a conservation easement. The big benefit is the protection of our natural resources that we are losing rapidly. And it was disappearing faster than I thought was even possible almost. And it continues to disappear. And, you know, I fell so much in love with this property until I didn't want to see it consumed by developers or industry. And talking to my family, I wanted to make sure that it was always protected. You know, it doesn't mean that in the future, if they needed to, they couldn't sell it. It still could be sold, but it would always be protected. You know, it, it just gives us a, a great deal of satisfaction that we know that this land will be here for generations to come, for others to enjoy just as we've enjoyed it. I'm proud to see the deer and, and other animals and wildlife out here and, and knowing that, that those species will have this habitat forever. It won't be changed. I know when, when, when I pass away, probably people will remember me as the longest serving warden in the country, but I hope they'll also remember me for the property that I've left that can be enjoyed and that's protected.